seventh event on the card, and we're getting to the third leg of the quaddy. Well, this is the third leg of the quaddy on Super Saturday night at Tab Court Park, Melton. It is the IRT Breeders' Crown Final for the three-year-old Colts and Geldings, and if you did a family feud survey, I reckon more than 80% of respondents would say this is the race of the night. Five winning chances for mine, headed up by Demon Delight. The only thing we can be certain of in this race is that Max Delight will lead from gate two. What happens after that is up for some conjecture. I reckon Demon Delight, who follows him through at the start from gate nine, or what will be gate nine, will get into a great position early, then whip around and use the opportunity to get up on the premises outside the leader and dictate the speed from there. And I reckon the way he went in his qualifying, in his semi-final of the series, he will win. I think he will crush Max Delight, to be quite honest. So I've got 10 on top of 11, Lock and Varad. If you look at the two most gifted horses in this race, they are Demon Delight and Lock and Varad. They've both got elite speed, elite strength, elite versatility. Lock and Varad's just at a competitive disadvantage against Demon Delight because of his slightly wider draw, but he's certainly good enough to win, and no horse deserves a group one more than him. Number seven, Malcolm's Rhythm, is a little bit of a shock uh, uh, third placing for mine here. I just think he's flying at the moment. Wide frontline draw looks awful, but I'll tell you what, if they burn up here, and they might, Malcolm's Rhythm's going so well at the moment with a card into proceedings, he'll be dangerous. I've got Max Delight, the favourite, in for fourth. I know he can win the race, but I just think he's too short. I didn't love his semi-final run. He'll get the lead here, but can he cop stacks of pressure? Can he be brutalised and still win? That's my question mark over him. And in for fifth, out to play. He can also win. Vic Bread Super Series champion. I wonder if he's just a half shade off right now, the way he was going during the Vic Bread Super Series, but he might put us all to shame here. Gavin Lang might just be protecting him in those races, and he'll come rip-roaring down the outside and win this Group 1 race. What a race it will be. I've settled on Demon Delight on top. I think he's a nice price. He's still getting better than $3. 10 over 11, 7 and 2.